So everybody's giving me shit that I'm such a big anti-vegan, such a hateful person. I hate vegans. Meanwhile, I'm enjoying a barbecue here with my good friend, still vegan for years. And look at this grill. Check this out. Here, something to trigger the vegans. Around about two kilograms of Macedonian chivapchichi for everyone. But, but, look at this. Here we go. Vegan sausage. Show me the package. Jesus Christ, no package. You have to take my word for it. It is vegan sausage. Here we go. <laughs> Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, it is time for a full day of eating carnivore edition. So, as you can see here, this is raw butter. But not just any raw butter. It is Les Grands Cru, French grass-fed raw butter. I use it for my coffee. Yes, buttered coffee. This is how I love to start my day. Before breakfast, before eating anything, I love to have my black coffee with a piece of raw butter and check my emails, check in with social media. This is how a typical day starts. All right, time for breakfast. We're gonna make an omelette. But again, not just any type of omelette. It's gonna be an egg white omelette, which I top up with raw egg yolks, raw butter, raw salmon roe, and some raw meat. Again, grass-fed, local, French beef. I always use butter to fatten up my pan. No vegetable oils in this household. And here we go, we fry just the egg whites. Egg whites have high levels of evidin, that is a protein, an anti-nutrient of sorts that blocks biotin. Once you cook the egg whites, the evidin gets denaturized. With this method you get the best of both worlds. This is what I love to do. Heat up the egg whites, but keep the egg yolks raw. Now I add some mozzarella cheese to it and those are the only two ingredients that we heat up. Now we top it up with the raw meat and season it lightly. A little bit of sea salt, a little bit of pepper and a little bit of oregano. Goes well together with the mozzarella. Gives it a bit of an Italian touch. We are adding four raw egg yolks. Now the secret ingredient. Look at this color. Absolutely amazing. Just looking at the salmon roe, you already know this is healthy. This is something that I couldn't deny, even as a vegan. When I would see salmon roe or salmon sashimi, I intuitively knew it was healthy for me. Here we go, topped up with a little bit of parmesan and that is the finished product. Delicious. Beautiful. Time for me 
Deal number two. Back to basics. Steak time. Steak with raw butter and mozzarella cheese. Guys, I love dairy. I cannot help it. I have dairy with every single meal. I have no digestive issues. Quite the opposite. Every meal contains butter and cheese. Absolutely delicious. I tolerate it well. If anything, it improved my digestion. Now look at this steak. Let's give it a test. I always like to taste test my steaks raw first to establish the quality. Absolutely loving it. Look at that flame. Flame grilled. Done. Another three ingredients meal. Back to basics. Absolutely nourishing, absolutely delicious, a true vegan lifesaver. Yes. All right, meal number three. Time to get our omega-3 sub. It is fish time. This time we chose cod filet. Absolutely delicious fish. I would say probably my favorite white fish. Because it is not fat enough, we're gonna add two eggs. Overdid it a bit. Add a bit more butter. Here comes the eggs. And some extra cheese. You can never get enough cheese. Now we top it off with some cream cheese and some black caviar. Pinch of salt, pinch of pepper, done! Oh yeah! Amazing, as you can see, yet again another out of body experience through nutritionally dense animal foods. Wonderful. Alright, last meal of the day, meal number four. I like to consume some sort of organ every day. 
sometimes it is beef heart, sometimes beef liver. On this very day, I only found chicken liver at my local butcher. Therefore, before I get to my last meal, I just snack on the liver. Raw. I don't do this for fun. I don't do this because I enjoy it so much. I treat organs as true supplements. The organs supplement my daily meals. They deliver all the vitamins that I need on a carnivorous diet. Look at the quality of this steak. Absolutely amazing, guys. If you can make it to France, I highly recommend it. This is where I encountered the best beef quality. Don't get scared of the carbs. That is just my girlfriend in the back cooking. She has some burgers and some gnocchi. She still enjoys carbs occasionally. I, on the other hand, didn't touch any carbohydrates on my 30-day carnivore challenge. Steak, eggs, cheese, butter. Simple, but powerful. This is my favorite. Wow. And this sums it up guys. This is how I like to eat on a zero carb day. The 30 day carnivore challenge is in the past now, but I still eat a highly carnivorous diet. I'm not against carbohydrates. But this is how I truly feel the best, digestive-wise. I will go into further detail soon and I will review my 30 days of zero carbs. What I learned, if I incorporate carbohydrates again, what the true function for carbohydrates is, which type of foods help me with digestive issues, so on and so forth. Guys, if you like the video, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And as always guys, much love and peace.